Greetings, my esteemed subscribing tons. I'm checking in from an absolutely beautiful spring forest here in Jotunheim. I thought to talk about something of uh, utmost importance. I have talked a lot about black pills because of popular demand. A lot of guys are black pilled. I understand you. I've been a bit black pilled myself, to be honest. I've talked about stoicism as well, and I want to make something clear so that no one misuses the the concept of stoicism uh, because I've seen this quite a bit guys they are a bit defeatist they are too black pilled and they sort of use it as a coping mechanism saying everything is hopeless it's all going down the drain anyway so why why bother doing anything at all this is the opposite of what a true Indo-European heroic life-affirming attitude is that you know being a being a small pawn, not being able to influence anything. It's absolutely not what we're about here. Uh, I want to promote um, an attitude to life where you actually try to change, where you actually try to make the world a bit better for yourself and for others, for your family, for your bioculture, etc. Um, and then if you use, if you misuse stoicism and you think that stoicism is about always just saying oh it is what it is, I can't change anything, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take it, I'm just gonna turn the other cheek it's not what stoicism is about at all uh, it's a misuse, a misconception of, the, uh, of it stoicism is about when you absolutely, 100% you know that you can't change anything then, yeah, don't, uh, don't stress about it, but in a lot of cases, you can actually do something about it. And I will take a personal example now. A uh, massive black pill for myself. I've been um, somewhat worried for um, a long time that my YouTube will be uh, will be shut down, which might happen any day, by the way. So if you if you like my content, uh, follow me on Telegram, and you will know if uh, something happens. And I will continue to post uh, videos, which I am already doing at, uh, at another place, which is better also. So I'm uh, more calm about it now. Uh, but I have anyway had that um, in the back of my mind. I know it can happen. I have two choices. Um, either just take it, accept it, say, oh, how unfair life is, or I can actively work towards changing same thing when I got my Instagram and Facebook removed. Um, my Instagram, of course, was a massive uh, black pill, not only because because of losing 32,000 followers, but also because I lost a lot of uh, a picture diary I've had since 2013. Um, part of my life's work, part of some internet history. So the book burners at Facebook, um, shame on you. You have no honor, no decency whatsoever. You should be ashamed of yourself. So anyway, when I saw my Instagram got removed, I could have either said, you know what, this is so unfair, uh, it is unfair and it's completely horrendous, especially since I didn't break any community guidelines. But anyway, I had two options, either just take it and say, oh, it is what it is, uh, poor me, or what I did, actively promote different platforms, which is what I'm doing now. Um, so I said to myself, yeah, it's time to, to not just take it, it's time to approach this dilemma in a life-affirming way. So what can be done? Yeah, promoting other platforms. That's why I have been promoting Minds and Gab. Uh, you can follow me on both. Uh, links in the description box below. Now, I keep everything of importance on Telegram, so you don't miss any uh, anything of importance, but I do post something on Minds every day, uh, because it's a great platform, which I want to support. I do, of course, post Physique every Friday on Gab, also because I want to create that sort of culture, that sort of community. It's about building a good, uplifting community. Um, check it out. Uh, it's uh, good times, good times. So that's why I've seen, that's why you have seen me pushing a lot on, on Twitter, for example. I might be banned on Twitter any day now as well. You know, you can find me on Gab and Minds if you, if you like the content. So what I'm doing now is I'm actively trying to change the outcome of a certain thing. So that's my perspective, that's my black pill, you know, getting my Instagram removed, massive black pill. Uh, I don't want it to happen to anyone else, that's why I'm, you know, I'm pushing other platforms that uh, will not ban me for who I am. Not because of anything I posted, but because of who I am. 
So anyway, if I'm giving some advice to you here, out in this radiant forest of enlightenment, it's be honest with yourself when you ask yourself, can I change this? Most likely you can. So if you say, I live in a in an unsafe multicultural society, I don't like it, should I just accept it and lament my fate? Now you have some other options as well. You can try to be more comfortable in yourself by training. Uh, I don't know what sort of gun laws you have where you live. You can all, if, if it's legal, of course, you can get a gun. Um, if it's not legal, well, don't do it. Um, then, of course, you can establish good connections with other good men in your area. So you have a network, you know, there is always strength in numbers. So you, you have a lot of things you can do to alter the outcome of something. And I don't want anyone to use stoicism as a way to, as a coping mechanism or as an excuse for passive behavior. So I don't want anyone to say, oh, I live in this multicultural uh, town, I feel unsafe, it is what it is, I'm just going to accept it. No, don't accept it. Whenever you can actively try to make your life better, make the life of your uh, family, your friends better, yeah, you must do it. That's the that's the hero's quest in, um, in ancient myth, in basically all human cultures, especially in the European cultures. You have a hero embarking upon a quest. Now, of course, in the modern world, uh, a lot of bugmen, uh, low testosterone, low thumos guys, they will laugh and say, haha, what's going on? Never listen to those guys. They don't post physique. I don't listen to them. Uh, I want to promote a heroic aesthetic because I know it's a better way of life. Especially now when uh, there is a lot of things that you know we need to work to watch to create a better world for our um, for our families for our civilization. So anyway, point being, if we're talking about black pills, when is it appropriate to act on the black pill? When is it appropriate to transform the black pill into a glorious pill? Yeah, whenever you know that you can actually influence something. So instead of saying, oh, social media censorship is so bad, and and then you refuse to go to another platform which, uh, which doesn't censor you, yeah, you're sort of part of the problem. So for me, I'm beyond lamenting how vicious Facebook is. Uh, they are vicious, I will continue to point it out, because I don't think it's good how they behave. But I will also view it in a life-affirming and proactive way. That's why I push Minds, that's why I push Telegram and uh, Gab because I know that I won't be banned for who I am. Uh, again, I have no problem with any community guidelines. Uh, you know, on Gab, you can't post pornography, which I think is great. Uh, pornography is not free speech, has nothing to do with it. I have no problem following any sort of guidelines, but uh, the problem is with Facebook and Instagram, you don't know what uh, they are. So anyway, that was my insights for the day. And uh, if you like the content, be sure to Check out all links in the description box below, especially absolutely mandatory to follow me on Telegram. If you don't, and if you see my YouTube channel being uh, gone one day, yeah, it's, um, it's your own fault for not being high initiative, not being proactive enough. So, that being said, I will uh, see you at some other platform. Thank you for watching. XXO. Boom.